Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I titled this video, Is Walmart's Stance on Ammunition and Open Carry a Bad Thing? Initially we thought it was. There were videos, there were website articles that made the mainstream media, everybody touting Walmart's decision. And, and although I think that it was disappointing, it's not a crisis. This is a huge uplift for local gun stores and online ammo stores. They are dancing at the thought that Walmart will not be selling uh, ha handgun ammunition and sporting rifle ammunition anymore and that they will no longer allow open carry. Now, they don't care much about that, but the one part that confuses me is that Walmart says they don't want to sell handgun and sport rifle ammunition in their stores anymore, so you would think if they felt that strong about it that they would pull the ammo off of the shelves, but they're not doing that. They, they said, well, we're going to sell the remainder of it we're just not going to order any more. So is this really about saving lives? Or is it about pandering to the left? And I find this very interesting. Now, what's most disappointing is that the CEO of Walmart is calling on the government for bans. They're saying, we need to ban those rifles. You guys need to do something. And we're calling on other companies to follow suit. You know, just like Dick's Sporting Goods, just like Levi's. Just like Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, I can go on and on and on. And now Kroger decided to follow suit. Okay, is this a bad thing? I, I honestly don't think it is, especially the ammo sales, because the local gun stores and online gun stores will flourish from this. But the thing that cracks me up is that the, the liberals out there are now saying, Walmart's been enlightened. Isn't this great? I, it's time to celebrate that Walmart has been enlightened. Well, isn't it Walmart, the corporation that you hated for years? You accused them of, of destroying Middletown America, shutting down mom and pop shops, not unionizing, low wages, part-time, no benefits. You hated Walmart. But now when Walmart comes out with this and says, we will not sell these ammunition types because they are dangerous, you say they're enlightened. And then the liberals have two fists in the air, pumping their arms, saying victory because Walmart now joined our side. Walmart didn't join your side. They certainly didn't join our side, but they didn't join. Walmart is on the side of profits, okay? Let's get that settled right now. They are on the side of profits. So although... You know, liberals are, are now cheering. And at the same time, the local gun stores and online ammo stores are cheering. You and I, we're going to be just fine. Matter of fact, I think, you know, one door closes, another one opens. There will be more than enough ammo to go around at better prices where we don't have to physically go to a store or support our local gun store, which is what many of us should be doing to begin with. So... I find the whole thing rather entertaining. At first I was disappointed, but this is not a crisis. It's actually entertaining because the more middle America, the, the people on the fence see this, this push back from one way, push back, some of them put two and two together and say, hang on, wasn't there some real crazy people in Walmart shooting up the place? Like I recall in the parking lot that uh, people were carjacking and shot a man in the neck where good guys with guns went and shot that criminal and killed him and end the situation. And in that, in that scenario, they said, well, it could have been so much worse if it wasn't a good guy with a gun. So our argument in the whole gun debate is based on facts and, and a history of how things turn out when good people have guns. We just need to keep our voices heard we need to continue to share videos and we need to not get down and never feel like we we lost the battle because of walmart most of the people really didn't care for walmart to begin with they're a clothing store they're a grocery store if they don't sell ammo big deal disappointing yeah a little bit because they're trying to get other companies on a crisis no way because although they will not stop shooters they will stop shoppers, and those people are you and me. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.